Previously on Yokai Watch 4. Oh my god. What? And now. It's cheese time! Mm, mm. Don't forget to hit that like button for more cat content. Wait a minute. I'm your dad? Okay, okay, okay. So just for myself, so I can get what's going on here. We seem to have traveled into the future. I'll just make this easy for you. Oh my god. Salai is back! The frick is that? And why does he look like the boss we just beat down? But like a superhero version of it. Let me explain. Freed from the world's evil forces, I have regained the heart of justice! Shining! Okay. Why were you on a rampage earlier? And why were you suddenly in shadow side form? Oh, well, that's... I suddenly felt a strange object in my butt. Uh-huh! <laughs> Hold up. That is not what we should be asking about right now, Nate. What kind of object did you have? In your butt? You look totally different! Yo, is that... Hold up, I need to remove my camera so you guys can see. So I expected the Jibanyan, but this is Whisper? Who are you? Oh my gosh. This Jibanyan looks crazy. Why are you glaring at me? I didn't see anything! Yokai that look like Whisper and Jibanyan? What's going on here? I wonder if he's alright. He seems to be very confused. Well, it's not unreasonable, seeing something like this so suddenly. Yes, that may be true. Okay then, I'll explain it to you. Please. I need some explaining. This is, this is a little too much for my pea brain. When I think about it, you don't know anything about us. How does she know about us, though? It's natural to be confused, so... I'd like you to introduce yourself to everyone and talk to them. Once you've wrapped your head around it, I'll explain more. Okay. I'm probably most interested in this whisper. You already know. I've said it multiple times. Your character and mine. They're the complete same! They're kind of similar. You don't say, Nate. But it's not the same with Jibanyan, though. It seems his opposite version or alternate regional form, whatever, is more fierce. I mean, Jibanyan is fierce in his own cute little way, but this is super scary. Jibanyan's totally freaked out. It makes sense. Cats get freaked out by bigger cats or just bigger animals in general. My name is... Oh, your name's not Large Boy? What, you get to name him? Bro, I don't know what his actual name would be. I'm gonna name him Gordo, because he's a large boy. My name is Gordo Arihoshi. I'm also a member of the Yokai Detectives. What? We solve cases involving Yokai. We call them bizarre cases. You have a Yokai watch too, right? You should join the detectives. Yeah, I'll think about it. <laughs> Does that mean we get to name our daughter too? Or girl that claims to be our daughter? Oh, come on. Okay, well, if our name's Nate, uh, Natisha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? No, I can't even call her Natisha. Summer? That's her default name? Alright, you know what? Fine. We'll just do Summer then. My name's Summer. It's the name my dad gave me. Okay, well, that's actually what I wanted is... What does she mean by dad? <laughs> hey, you look just like Tate. I know it's kind of late, but it's kind of funny. Huh? <laughs> Who the frick is Tate? Is that alternate reality Nate? So we're not her dad then. There's no way. My name's Joker Tsukinami. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, definitely sounds like a Japanese name, doesn't it? Seems this was your first time fighting a shadow side yokai? Shadow side? Yes, yokai have two sides to them. Their normal form, light side, and their shadow side, which increase power. 
What the heck? I've never heard of that before. So this is obviously a shadow side. Or wait, I guess this guy would be the light side version? Bro, why does he have a little tongue sticking out from his crotch? That's so we- ugh. <laughs> what in this form? Please call me Sly, not Slimamander. Shiny! Yeah, nice to meet you, Sly. You're very open-minded, boy. Ask me anything you don't understand. Okay, then why did you start coming after us just now? For real, bro. It's kind of messed up. If you're a superhero. <laughs> Is he really gonna give us no explanation? Come on. You seem to have calmed down after talking to everyone, Dad. Yeah, well, I don't know why you keep calling me your dad. It's not polite to just call me girl. As I said before, I'm Summer Adams. Oh no. It's over! Okay. Well then, Summer? Huh? <laughs> That's the same last name as Nate! It's over for us, bro. We're gonna find out it wasn't with Katie. What the? This world, to you, is... It's the future world, 30 years from now. 30 years?! So what the frick happened to the yokai in these 30 years that they look like this now? <laughs> Even though it's the future, it hasn't changed that much from your time. <laughs> Jibanyan, whisper! We're talking about something important, so please be quiet. <laughs> that big guy is me? <laughs> oh, what do you mean, hasn't changed much? We've changed too much! <laughs> I don't know what to say. I got a lot of questions. <laughs> then it can't be helped. Is it okay if I talk for a long time? Oh boy. It's exposition time! Or not? On behalf of my beloved Summer, I, Sly, will tell you. Can you really do that, Sly? Of course! I'm kind and polite. I'll explain everything easily. All right, boy. Clean your ears and listen carefully. You tuck that tongue in, sir. It's not polite to have it hanging out like that. All this started on that day. That one faithful day. Why is it always before a flashback scene we gotta, like, zoom up to the sky? Look, for a second, I thought it was gonna be English. So the way it started, but... I guess Nate is a legend around these parts? Wasn't the second Yokai Watch game? Like, there was past and future, or I guess past and present. Like, I kind of vaguely remember that you met Nate's grandpa. So it's a little weird that now he's seen as like the legendary Yokai catcher. But, like, his grandpa was the original. I don't know, I guess it just runs in the family. But maybe, like, back then there was no yokai watch. Like, the grandpa just caught yokai or saw yokai, but it wasn't, like, Nate. Oh my god, this guy's not even telling us the real story! It's his own freaking story! His name is... The Amazing Sly! <laughs> this is giving, like, Crimson Chim vibes. Like this superhero that thinks he's so cool. But in reality... Amazing story. 10 10. Good job, Sly. How long are you going? <laughs> Yo! Did he just smack his cheeks? What you just said wasn't real? Uh, sorry, boy. I was in a good mood and got a little carried away. It was more than just a little. Well, uh, saving the world was true. But it wasn't just Sly, it was all of us, the yokai detectives. What do you mean? It's a long story, but 
We saved the world a long time ago. The yokai detectives are the friends we fought with. This is becoming a crazy story. Yeah, this is a bigger development than I thought it'd be. That's right, an evil yokai called Oni King, Raisin. Ain't no way the yokai king is called Raisin. A giant meteorite? Wait, so they're aliens? But we had a special bond with yokai, so we joined forces and defeated him. You beat him? Well, it was a lot of work with the help of the yokai world's great king. Lord Enma? Are you serious? This has to be another story. I kind of remember Enma vaguely from the first yokai game. Why would we lie about such a trivial thing? Uh, I think it's the truth, yo. Jibanyan's getting intimidated by his buffer version. So the future world, Summer and the others made it peaceful, right? So then why did Sly attack us? Uh, that is indeed a riddle. He seems to be very calm. I'm guessing when they turn into Shadow Side. Wait, what? He was here because of you? Is that true? It was a while ago now, just when summer vacation started. Oh boy. It all started on that day. <laughs> okay, at least we don't get the pan to the sky this time. Ooh, chapter two. The future Yokai Detective Team! Sly is a reference to Super Sentai or Kamen Rider. That makes a lot of sense, actually. I guess I see it as a superhero, like Crimson Chin, but what the frick? Wait, this was Summer the whole time? I thought it was literally a girl version of Nate, like alternate reality. This makes so much more sense now. Are we going to see old oh, Nate yeah. then? I mean, we have to, right? This is going to be like that Ben 10,000 episode. <laughs> yep, today the yokai detectives are meeting at Youth Park. <laughs> well, well, it's summer vacation and you're already busy. There are a lot of weird yokai that ordinary people can't see. Besides, if the locals are targeted by yokai, only the yokai detectives can help. As expected of the Yokai Watch Arcanes user, you're very reliable. Oh my gosh, Jibanyan! What the frick? Why does he look like that? <laughs> oh, Jibanyan! Good morning. If anything happens, I'll summon you, Jibanyan. Why does he sound like that? More important, man did the yada yada. Where's Komasan? Oh yeah! I completely forgot about Komasan. Summer, I have a favor to ask, so I've sent a messenger to you. What's that about? He's going to your house, so let's go out the front door for now. The meeting place, Youth Park, is nearby, so you can make it after finishing with this. Okay. Baton pass? Dude! I cannot believe this Jibanyan though. Why does he yada yada on us? Oh my god, is this him? Wait, that's not Nate? What the frick? Is that really Nate? That can't be Nate, bro. That does not look like Nate. But that's her dad. Wait, that is Katie though. Bro, what happened to my man Nate? <laughs> Oh, we'll find out, I'm sure. How do I get out of my house? Yo, there's no way this man's still living at his mom's house. Oh my Hi. god. Summer, please help me! Sly, what are you doing? This dog is attacking me! It's the spirit puppy. From earlier. Oh, so like, it can travel between worlds? Sly, are you kidding me? A dog? Could it be that this is the dog Komasan sent? I think Nate sent it without realizing. And that's what she meant. Like, we brought Sly to the other world or something. Anyway, please help me. It's not even doing anything, bro. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't notice there was an encyclopedia app. It seems to be saying, follow me. Okay, so you're a cute guide dog. I'll go with you. That seemed a little too easy. Normally, when a ghost dog shows up to my door... I mean, you know what? I would probably follow a ghost dog. If it actually a ghost dog appeared at my doorstep, I, I would probably follow it. No questions. Oh no, it's gonna get run over! <laughs> that was kind of close, Blue's Clues. Come on, bro. You gotta, you gotta... Watch out. Oh yeah, let me check the encyclopedia. <laughs> Joker. Nice. Uses the Yokai Watch Ogre. Yokai Watch Arcane. And we just have the basic Yokai Watch. But I remember that in one of the other games, yeah, there was like another version of the Yokai. And then I saw someone else said that apparently Nate's grandpa in the second game actually invented the Yokai Watch. Whoa, Kamasan! No way! Man's looking like Amaterasu out here. Oh, that's so cool. I don't think I ever realized Komasan was actually a dog. I'm just patrolling the area. Did Navi Wolf stop by? Navi Wolf? Oh, you mean this guy? Yeah, I didn't get lost at all. This is my spirit body. It's like an alter ego. He follows various smells in the city to guide you wherever you need to go. I see. You're very smart, Navi Wolf. Okay, so it's literally like an autopilot. Nice. That's right. This is why I called for you. There's a crank Akai in a mysterious alley. I wouldn't trust it, man. There's gonna be some bad yokai in there. Even when I put coins in and crank it, I can't get any capsules to come out. Is it some kind of malfunction? That's what I thought at first, but then I smelled something fishy. I want you to search the Crank Akai. With the Yokai Watch? Okay. Alright, so. What, what do they want me to do with it? Scan it with the Yokai Watch, I guess. When in doubt, just scan it. And we got some Yo Gunk. What the heck is that? This is Yo Gunk! <laughs> like my gunk, excuse me. You can use one of the Yokai Watch's features, the Yoki Drain. If you hold down ZR, Yo Gunk will be removed. It's not my gunk, man. It's your gunk. Stop being so gross, Whisper. But yeah, we, we know about this from battles. You can use it to drain the enemy spirit energy. But I guess you can also use it on the gunk. Oh my god, this is like Ghostbusters now. Yo. Gunk! Off. Oh my god. I didn't know there was going to be a yokai in there. Okay, I guess the only downside to me not having played yokai watch in a while is I don't even know if this was a yokai in a previous game. I mean, he definitely wasn't from the first game. I don't remember him. I mean, I, I feel like I remember a lot of the yokai, actually. Like, once I see them, like Yukina, or whatever the ice witchy one was. There was, like, the edgelord that looks like Sasuke. There's, like, the samurai guy. Oh, hell yeah. Jibanyan! Huh. Is it because of the metal that they look different then? Because in the metal, Jibanyan did look like this form. <laughs> That's so weird looking. Mononoke? Nice. I love this Jibanyan. He's like the perfect counterpart to Nate's version. Let's go, everyone. No, no, no! Don't forget me! It's gotta be Sly, isn't it? Of course! This man's always here to steal the spotlight. Summer's gorgeous knight! The amazing Sly! I 
forgot about you. Wow. Okay. Well, now, let's do this. Well, it seems like everybody's got their super attack ready to go, so... It's time! Slime Amanda Ray! Go, yo, use it, bro. Go! Yeah! Oh my god, did we just one-shot him? No, we didn't. Okay. I don't know why I thought that did way more damage. But why did we transform? What the heck? Can we get Jibanya? Oh, Jibanya transformed too! Wait, they all transformed! I didn't even look at Komasan. What did he look like? So it's- it is like an evolution. We did it! Here, is your Krenkakai coin back? Um, uh, well, that's great. Thank you all. <laughs> now that your business is over, I'm going home. <laughs> Jibanyan can't be bothered. I feel like he misses the good old days. That actually, it makes so much sense as a character arc, like, for Jibanyan. It kind of gives Detective Pikachu vibes. Like, he's at a point where he's gone through so many adventures that he's just over it. He's just like the lazy old guy that's like, tagging along just because he has experience. It's gotcha time, everybody. Let's do it. I think this one will actually be random, by the way, so... Whatever we get is different for everybody's playthrough. Hopefully we get some good. Please be a yokai. Oh, come on! Wait. That's not that bad. Third prize? Like, out of all the prizes, or... Or this is the third tier? <laughs> Massive F. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, maybe it was the third tier. There's a limit to the times you can crank each day. It'd be a good idea to crank it every day. I want to crank it again right now, bro. That wasn't fair. Can I get a save state? Like, can we can we go back? <sighs> that sucks. I mean, I guess it's money. Yeah, alright. So, it looks like the little spirit puppy. Oh. Is that Joker? No, that's a different kid, right? He recently transferred to my school. We don't talk much, but... Oh, of course. She likes them edgy boys. Wait, his name is Theo? Sakami? Is this like a foreign exchange student? Or did they just give him like an English name? I mean, I guess I gave the other characters English names too. Frickin' Joker and Gordo. Bye. Also, her name is Summer, so... Yeah, it's probably just to make it easier for English readers. <laughs> Summer, I was struck by your words. A potential love with a nice young man? Uh, hey, love? That's right, it's summer vacation after all. Whisper. I'm being a little weird now. You don't gotta force it, bro. <laughs> Wait, is the Sly like Summer? I mean, he is like her knight in shining armor kind of deal, so... What interesting guys. Guys! So he sees the yokai, huh? I mean, he looks like the type of guy that would... You know, he looks like a main character, basically. There's rumors around here about bizarre cases, right? Mm. Yes, they've been increasing lately. Three have started since summer vacation. Oh. If it's the work of dangerous yokai, we have to stop them. Okay, Joker. Mm. We can always rely on you, Joker. After all, your yokai watch ogre. You mean Arsene? Yo, Arsene's looking a little different in this game. That is a pretty sick yokai, though. I'll do my best to help solve the case. I'm counting on you. I'll support you as leader of the Yokai Detectives. Oh, yeah. Is he the leader? <laughs> yes, he wants to be. Somewhere out there, there must be a Yokai and someone needing the Yokai Detectives' help. Yes, Everyone, let's do our best to solve bizarre cases. 
Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> you can now switch to Joker. Heck yeah. We, we, we can't switch to Gordo though? Wait, does Gordo not have a Yokai watch? I mean, obviously he can see Yokai. He's got the little beads too, so maybe he's more like the spiritual leader. Oh, that's a nice little detail. Like, I know it's a very minor thing, but listen to the footsteps. Oh, never mind. We slid down. Like, when you go up the slide, it has, like, the metal. I don't know. Th those little things are, like, it's very basic game audio design, but it just, you know, it, it adds to the immersion. I like it. Please, believe me, the rumors are true. Even if you say that. That, that right there, most used word in Japan, at least for me. I had a sumimasen everything. <laughs> There's been a lot of rumors in Cherry Hills about Septic Pond's man eating plant lately. Supposedly, there's a plant near Septic Pond that only attacks males. I don't believe it, but he says he's seen the man-eating plant. What is this, like poison ivy? Like from Batman? Please, if you believe me, can you investigate the man-eating plant? Sure. Of course! Thank you. Thank you for believing me. Septic Pond's man-eating plant doesn't show itself unless something walks by. Like a man? When I was attacked, it was the 28th day of my diet. Ugh, is this story gonna be super long? Isn't the guy's name like Talkative Brother? So yeah, he's probably gonna say a lot. The good thing is we don't actually have to listen to it because the game's gonna tell us where to go anyway. So we'll just skip through and read the pink stuff and we should be fine. Plants by the septic pond. That's that's what I saw. All right, we got another side quest over here. We can always put a little pin, I think. Bloop. Oh, there's a curry shop, yo. Curry was by far my favorite food in Japan. We gotta go hit up the curry shop. Can we jump over this? Oh, nice. How come I can't see my pin on the mini map though? That's kind of lame. I'm pretty sure it's this way though. Oh yeah, I see a side quest at the end of the street. Oh, there's actually a side quest by the curry shop. Do you know about the strange things going on lately? Recently, I've been concerned about the Cyclops. <gasps> the residents of Cherry Hills are always being watched by it. You really don't believe that story, do you? Okay. What could the Cyclops be? Is it literally Sly? I mean, he does have one eye. Oh, it's like actually Indian curry. Oh, well, I don't know about Indian, but you can see. Dude, that's so cool. The freaking shop owner is also... I love it because there actually were a lot of Indian people in Japan when we went. Which I guess I wasn't surprised because Karen had told me about it beforehand. Well, not just Indian, but like... I don't know. What is the term? I don't know. I don't, I'm definitely... I don't want to sound ignorant, but there's definitely a term that's more inclusive of not just Indian, but... Yes, Southeast Asian. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, these are just side quests, so I'm not 100% as invested, but we'll definitely get them done. Solve three bizarre cases. Okay, we got all three so far. Uh, so if we go to our quests, we can actually track each one, I believe. Navigate. We'll do the Cyclops guy first, since I'm pretty sure it's literally Sly right behind her. Or maybe not? So the little dog will actually take us to where the, the quest is, I'm guessing, right? I mean, the little dog is nice, but like, you can also just look at the mini-map, which is also just as nice. It's you guys! You've come to the right place. I was planning to call Navi Wolf during my walk when I felt a strange aura. That strange aura seems to be lurking in this wall. You should search it with the yokai watch. Okay. Definitely looks like a Slimamander's logo. But maybe it's not Sly, maybe it's another Slimamander. It has to be him though, bro, come on. I can't believe even Komasan doesn't know. But Sly knows! It's his calling card! He literally is Batman! Or Kamen Rider. 
The music definitely is giving Kamen Rider now. The humble and pretty sly Mark watching over Summer in the Shadows. Also known as a hidden sly. Oh! So it's like a hidden Mickey. Like you gotta find them throughout the game or something. It's like an ongoing side quest. You're a huge idiot. Hey Komasan, can't you do something about this Mark? I know some people are scared, so if we can remove it somehow... Remove it?! Yeah, it, it's the scavenger hunt of this game, basically. The Zygarde cells, the spirit tomb wisps. Oh yeah, the unknown too. I always forget about the unknown, the fact that you can find all the unknown in Legends Arceus. Oh wait, that's it? That's that's the quest? Uh, I don't know why, I thought there would be more to it. But I mean, it is just an introduction to the slot. Oh? <coughs> Princess. Where are you? Princess? Is this man not from the future? Yo! Okay. Clearly, he's given main character energy. Or at least important character. What do you think of the human world? It's so peaceful, you'll probably miss it. You're exactly right. I've been in this world for a while now, but all I see roaming around are low-class yokai. Low-class. I guess that is the best way to describe this guy. He looks like an S-class. I agree. I'm counting on you, Voidera. Fukuro. Wait, his name is Plastic Bag? I'm back now, Lord Theo. You came back empty-handed again? What a useless guy. Damn. So Theo is a bit of a... Asshole, is he? My mission is to find our princess, who has been reborn as a human. Hmm. You understand, don't you? The shine of the princess Oni branch. The Oni tribe's princess is in this world. She's waiting to be reborn. Yes, I'm aware of that. I thought you could use your arrows. Just allow stupid yokai run rampant. I apologize. You think you're off the hook if you keep apologizing? No, that's absurd. Please, Lord Theo, give me another chance. Well, why not? I don't have high hopes from you. Damn. He's definitely giving, like, blue energy. Like, Gary... Or blue or green, depending on, you know, the rival from Pokemon, but like the asshole rival. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. A day is always refreshing after a job well done. Wait, that's literally all we did yesterday was just find that graffiti. Okay. What's wrong, Whisper? As we solve other bizarre cases, I'm sure there will be more battles with tough yokai. So I recommend you make even more yokai friends. Yeah, it's reassuring to have more friends. And I found a very useful service that's perfect for this kind of thing. A service? What's this? Soul Exchange! Yo, I like his new yokai pad. It looks a lot more sleek and like the symbol on it is pretty cool. I'm sure you'll carefully explain the soul part with lots of gusto. Let's get started to the Every Mart for the soul. Wait, there's even more missions we could potentially do though. What does this kid want? Oh, this is the bike kid. Never mind. It's it's one of the missions we already had before. Let's investigate or not. These tire tracks. Could it be a yokai? Is there a bike yokai? I remember there was like a ghost motorcycle in the show Supernatural. So I wouldn't be surprised. Something like Revavroom as a yokai. Okay, no, we don't gotta scan yet. We just gotta keep following the the skid marks, I guess. It's clearly burnt in. Okay. Let me turn this way. Uh 
Yo, ghost puppy. Oh wait, no, they're over here though. The ghost dog is leading me to some other side quest, I think. I feel a strong aura from these bikes. It must be nearby. Ghost bike. Maybe it's something to do with these. Or maybe it is. Cyclizer. Oh, dude, I remember Bielzimon. That's one of my favorite Digimon. I just love season three. Like, Geomon, Rapidmon, Terriermon. I mean, yeah. Renamon. Oh, man. All of season three main characters are awesome. Oh, I was literally supposed to search right where we were. Sorry, I got distracted with the Digimon. Yo, you get me going on... What is that season called? Digimon Tamers? You get me started on Digimon Tamers, you'll never hear the end of it. Alright. Oh, come on. We can do it. We can do it. No! <laughs> I'm already trying to break the game over here. Dude, I feel like we can do it, though. Like, look, she get she... If we can just jump one more time. All right, fine. I'll go around. It says search around the area. Oh. Oh my god. This can't be, man. <laughs> Charlie? Moist Critical himself? Is a yokai? There is no way. Why is he a bike, though, is the real question. Oh my god. What's going on? For real? Something black just hit that bike ghost. Whoa. I don't trust you humans anymore. I'll kill you all. It really is Beelzemon, bro. He just went crazy. I hope we can add that to our team. That looks dope. Is Charlie like a bike term that I'm missing? Yo, hold up. Do we still have a- Oh! She has a sword instead of a hammer. Yo! Okay, I want to see what they look- Loaf? No, no, no. You're not a cat, bro. You can't be loafing. Yo! He really is Amaterasu! Oh, that's awesome. What's our super move? Boom! Hell yeah. So I guess these yokai, when you use their deadly move, they transform. We get a donut. Oh, get it? Because because you can do donuts on a bike. Yes. Okay, we managed to win. Uh -huh. But still, what was that black thing that flew by? Is this like a JoJo thing? Like, I forget what season, but they have the arrows that give people stands. Sorry for taking so long. My name's Charlie. Why do you hate people so much, Charlie? I'm actually a yokai born from the grudges of these bikes. Oh, are people mistreating their bikes? Or I guess just abandoning them? Damn. The sad music. Oh, no. But their dreams were denied. Humans abandoned them here. Yes, they're not perfect. Brakes can slip. Saddles can tear. Well... If that's their only problems, I think we can use them if they get fixed. That's it! That's exactly how you'd be! Yeah, but... If you fix them, you can use them just fine. I feel like sometimes it's more expensive to fix something than to buy a new one, which probably shows that there's something wrong with the world. It's kind of a similar thing to recycling. Like, I feel like it should be easier to recycle things than buy new things, but it just ain't, so kind of complicated. I guess the saddest part is that if you're rich enough still to, to like, repair something, most people don't because they would rather just buy, like, the newer, shinier thing. I've tried, for example, with, like, old video game consoles to fix them. But like half the time too, it's not even like buying the parts that's expensive is you actually need like an expert too. Like for example, I have an old switch, but the SD card slot on it broke and I ordered, I bought a new SD card reader, which was actually pretty cheap, but then I tried to install it and it just still didn't work. So what, like, you know, I, I got no choice at that point. I mean, I guess I can send it to Nintendo. I just been lazy. <laughs> can I talk to you for a second, dad? What's up? 
I need you to tell me your name, bro. There is no way you're Nate. Unless he's like dyeing his hair or something. Maybe he started going gray. Because Nate definitely has brown hair, right? <laughs> the bikes are in the front of the house, right? Let's get started right away. Oh, look, his hair is kind of brownish now. I guess maybe it was just because he was inside. That was fast. As expected of Summer's dad. Why is no one calling him by name? <laughs> right? My dad's really great. <laughs> Don't be so direct. Actually, I'm quite nervous. Well, it's not too important, Joker and Gordo. <laughs> Thank you for being friends with Summer. Please keep helping her out. It's not that big a deal. We're just doing what friends do. There's only two bikes, though, and three kids. So... What that means. Okay, the first bike's done. Time to take a break. Damn, that bike's looking nice. Okay. I didn't realize Nate was like that. Alright, you know, I can see now why these quests take a whole day. Like, repairing a bike like that. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Bring the ice cream. One of all types? Okay, yeah, that's obviously got to be Nate. <laughs> Only Nate would love ice cream that much. So I guess Nate doesn't live at his mom's house. He actually lives in a different neighborhood entirely. Same city probably, but this ain't Springdale anymore. Okay, this is ice cream, right? He wants one of every kind, so let's get one of these. Let's get one of these. Let's get one of these. Is gelato ice cream too? It is. And okay, that's it. Yo, these are actually so good. Oh my god, I forgot what the... Hold on, I gotta ask Kern. These are so good. Hold on, I have to find Choco... Choco Monaco? Monaca? But I think my favorite one, my favorite snack that I would always get when we went to the Konbini. Coolish. Oh, man. But this is basically ice cream in a little pouch. You wait for it to slightly melt and you just squeeze the pouch. So like there's no messiness and like the texture of it. It's not exactly ice cream. It's more like a slushy. It's so good, dude. Okay, we got four ice creams. Dad wants the gelato. Nah, bro. He didn't pick the Monaca. <laughs> he just picked it because it was expensive. Summer cho- See, Summer knows. Summer is a girl of culture. She knows the Monaco was the correct choice. Gordo's gonna go with the Black Everest. And Joker gets the last pick. The freaking sea salt ice cream. Gori Gori. <laughs> that reminds me, there was a place called Gorilla Curry. It was something with Gorilla. I forgot the actual name, but the, the logo was a Gorilla. And they sold Japanese curry. That place was pretty good. Well, I'm going back inside. If you need me, just let me know, okay? <laughs> that laugh, though. So he's really not going to tell us his name. Are you kidding me? <gasps> Charlie! I forgot you were here, man. Got some shiny new bikes for you, bro. Can we actually use the bike? Like, is this going to be like Pokemon? You can just poof a bike into existence. Oh! Damn, okay. We got two bikes. No way. We hoeing now. And we get Charlie too? Nice. You know, Charlie, I'm kind of warming up to him. At first, I was like, that is a very weird design, but ain't that bad. Bicycle Reborn has been completed. There's three yokai that can be out and active, and then there's three on the bench. <gasps> Who are these little guys? Who is that? Ananta, the world door has opened. It finally showed up, just as the prophecy says. The human world is about to be in a lot of trouble. Ah, other strange doors have been appearing over there. We must speed things along. I'm leaving you two in charge. You got it! Understood. Yo. 
Who is this guy? And why does he kind of look like the rival? The humans chosen by the Yokai Watch. He's coming? 